and I'm here to talk to you about how to reduce latency in GarageBand. Now latency is a very annoying thing that happens where you play a note and then there's a pause, there's a delay before it actually appears on the computer so you hear an echo. You'll hit your note and then later on you'll hear it's very distracting and it makes recording very difficult. In order to reduce latency there are several things you can do. First of all you want to have as much RAM as possible on your computer. The more RAM you have the faster it's going to work. You also want to clear out your hard drive and make sure you have extra gigs available. Another thing you can do to reduce latency is to go into your GarageBand preferences like I'm about to show you and switch it to um, optimize for audio recordings. So go into preferences and under audio MIDI you'll see optimize for. Pick minimum delay when playing instruments live and that should help you avoid having to deal with any kind of latency. Now if you're still experiencing latency after doing this there's another very simple thing you can do that often works. Simply hit record Stop it by hitting spacebar, and the latency should be gone. Latency is very frustrating, but it can be reduced by improving your computer and optimizing your settings for minimum delay.